What's going on, BBK gang? Welcome back to Big Boss Ken and Rock Wallace, y'all. Hey, you already know. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn your post notification bell on the all. Subscribe. Like this video. Share this video. Give us a comment if you like. And y'all already know. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend. What's going on, BBK gang? What's going on? How is everybody's weekend going so far? Y'all tap in, tap in, tap in, tap in. Hey, we just on here just kind of chilling. Um, I might give y'all a sneak peek of the puppies. We'll see. But just stay tuned. I'm not going to hold too much of your time. I know it's Saturday night, y'all. And I know people going out or whatever the case may be. But if you don't have anything to do and you really support the BBK gang, hey, just tap in for a few minutes. If it's only for a few minutes and just show us a little support, make sure y'all hit that like button. And most of all, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification bell, turn it on to all so you don't miss anything that's coming from the game. What's going on? Uh, oh, I'm not going to mess this up, but I believe it's Demarcio McGee. Ugh, I'm sorry if I messed that up. And Terrence Hines, what's good, uh, family? Hey, we just on here just going to chill for a little bit. Um, like I said, I'm not going to take too much of, your of you guys' time tonight. I just want to tap in and just um, just kind of see what you guys is uh, going, uh, what you guys are doing tonight. Um, just kind of get, you know, answer any questions that you guys might have. Just kind of chop it up with y'all because, you know, we do this from time to time. And, hey, just seeing what y'all thinking about the videos that we posted Get y'all uh, get a little input on um, everything that's been going on so far. So y'all tap in, tap in. And if you're in here, I can only see that it's 10 people looking at me right now. I got one like, y'all hit that like button. It don't take but a second. Just hit that like button. Star A Rock Wallace Kennedy in the near future. That's my favorite. Hey, Chris, uh, I see. Hey, man, I'm going to tell you. If that's what you want to do, by all means, follow your dream. It's not hard. All I can say is make sure you start off with two or one. If you start off with one, my my personal opinion, I would start off with a female, but you can start off with a male. As y'all know, if you've been following us from day one, we started off with Debo. And probably, I think, Two or three weeks after that, that's when we got Ciroc. So, hey, you want to start off with something good, you know, something that's going to bring people in, get uh, grab some people's attention, and, hey, go for it. Go for it, go for it, go for it. All I can say is stay focused, follow your dream, be consistent, and just, hey, go for it, man. Go for it. Um, do know, uh, Williams, no, their eyes aren't open yet. Their eyes will probably be open going into their third week. They've on, they're only a week old, you guys. They just made a week Wednesday. So no, their eyes aren't open yet. Um, their ears are open, um, but their eyes are open. They should start trying to come open, um, this week going into, like I said, their third week, because this week there'll be two weeks old. So going in between this week and next week, then um, their eyes should be open. Hey, Graylin, I've been I, I I've been telling you, hey man, hit us up. You gotta you gotta hit us up. I promise you, we we want to get you some in uh, down in New Zealand. Hey, whatever we can do to make that possible, I promise you, we're gonna accommodate every everything that you know, that you need, just hit us up because you, 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 I've been seeing your comments and I, I, you know, I've been getting back to you, but you gotta, you gotta hit us up outside of YouTube, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, 
or you can call us directly. If you don't know, our Instagram is Big Boss Rock Wallet Kennels, all one word, all lowercase, on Instagram. Make sure you guys go over there and follow us. You can DM us. Any, the, any way that you guys can get in contact with us uh, outside of YouTube, make sure you guys check the description box. All our info is right there. It's not hard to get in contact with us, I'm telling you. Um, Mervin, good evening, good evening. Uh, BBK gang, gang. Um, Bartley's world, what's good? How you doing? Mo3 is not Debo's son. No, they are not related at all. Greatly. So, but yeah, you guys, hey, tap in, tap in. Hey, I want to get some feedback on, first off, I'm going to start from the beginning. Um, What are you guys thinking, finally, of the new imports that we have, Trina and Nikki? What do you guys think about them? Um, also, I don't know if y'all been paying attention or if you even noticed, what do y'all think about the intro that we've been putting in, uh, I want to say the past three videos, what do y'all think about that? And if you catch it, y'all already know this, is that the intro is basically, um, from our first ever video that well not our first ever video but um i would say since uh i believe april um that was one when actually when Sharak just had her first litter which is chanel and roxy's litter um that was that that was them uh, that was that first video, and we 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 always thought that the beginning of that video was so funny. So it was just like, you know what? Hey, why don't we just make that an intro for for now? Um, so what are you guys thinking about that? Um, hey, just just we we gonna be on here um, a little minute, uh, not too long. Like I said, it's not gonna be an hour or nothing like that, you guys, because my food just came and I'm not gonna eat. And I'm going to wait um, till we get off of here. So, um, but yeah, y'all tell me what y'all thinking. Anything that y'all want to say, y'all drop a comment and I surely will try to answer it the best of my abilities. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, <laughs> recording. <that. laughs> yes, yes, because I'm gonna tell you, um, I, I do not know how to say your name, but I think it's Nivy Rosier. Ros Ros I'm not gonna mess up your name, I swear to God, and I apologize, but I think that's how you pronounce it, but uh. Yeah, like, I guess we had just, I'm telling y'all, we had just got the camera and, you know, we came home and was like, you know what, we're going to get on to work. And I had started, I told him I was recording, but I guess he didn't catch it when I said, okay, babe, go ahead and start. So it was just like, he looked up and I was like, say something. And he, and he was like, oh, you recorded Dang, you recorded fast. <laughs> so it was just it was just funny. So so yeah, we just you know decided to use it and go with it. And that way, you know, for people that uh are new to the channel, um, before we get into any video, if you haven't watched any other video, that uh introduction shows you how Debo looks, you see how Ciroc look. Um, we didn't have a uh, black cherry yet. We didn't have Trina or Nikki yet. We didn't have a uh, diamond yet. We did have Mo3. And if you notice, if you catch a glimpse of him, you can see Mo3 in the background. He was, he was small then, but y'all already know how he looked now. So yeah, that, those are the only ones that we had then. Um, 
me see. Uh, they are oh yes miss sure they are settling in just fine like they they act like the way that they act with us and with the rest of the pack they act as if we've had them from babies so they they've adjusted very well very well very well um Thank you. Thank you, uh, Graylin. Um, big man, he's out taking care of some business. Um, he's not even here right now. He had to handle some business. But um, if he's watching, I'm pretty sure he is watching. Bay, if you're watching, just drop in the comments and just let everybody know that you're here, you see him, and, and stuff like that. Um Thank you, Duo. Thank you. Like, you know, we just try to be outside of everybody else. We try to be ourselves. Um, you know, like we can't we can't be like everybody else. We have to be big boss and the rock wallers. And you know, we're just trying to we just my phone fell. We're just trying to, you know, go far. In the in in this, oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. Yeah. I have to call you back. I have to call him back. But um, you know, we're just trying to go far and you know show the world what Big Boss Ken and the Rockwallers can do, what we produce, and you know we stand by what we tell you guys. Like it's no lie. And if you've seen the video that I posted today. Y'all can see again from somebody outside, you can see that what we tell y'all is totally true. Like, it don't get no better than this. Thank you, Malcolm. Thank you, Malcolm. We, we will keep up the good work. Oh, yeah, most definitely. You know, most definitely. Shout out to, to Tony Butler. Um, you know, if you don't know, that's where Debo and Sirach both came from. Um, Debo is is the son of Hulk and Nala, and Sirach is the daughter of Tank and Royalty. So for you guys that, you know, can't get on that list or with with Butler or whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, you're not going to go wrong with choosing Big Boss and the Rock Walls because we're going to make sure that you get what you're wanting. It's going to be top quality and we we put a stamp on anything that we do. It doesn't matter what we do. But you can't go wrong either route. Oh yeah, they they most definitely they are excellent guard dogs. But you know, that's what like I've told y'all before, that's with any any dog. Um you can have a dog on Chihuahua and a Shih Tzu, all I care. If you train that dog to be to protect and to, to to you know what I'm saying, to basically just to protect, then that's what that dog is gonna do. But yes, if you have a Rockwaller, most definitely they're gonna they're gonna own up to what they were bred to be, and that is protectors. They gotta think about it. These dogs were born and bred originally in Germany, and these dogs were somewhat considered a herding dog because, for the simple fact. They used to herd sheep and cattle and stuff like that, but they also were guard dogs to the butchers and and families and different you know different things like that. So it's on it's all what you want that dog to be. If you want that dog to be a guard dog, a protector, then that's what it's going to be. If you want that dog to be a family dog and just get it for your kids. 
then that's what it's going to be. Because one thing about it, and two things for sure with our dogs, their temperament is very, very easily. Like, they they, they, they are cool, calm, collective dogs. As y'all see in that video today, if you watched it, they didn't know those guys from Adam and Eve. They didn't know them. But because they sensed that those guys were were true and, and they, they didn't call they didn't pose as a threat to, to me and my husband, then of course they gonna open up. But don't get it twisted. At the end of the day, a dog is gonna be a dog and they're gonna protect their owner by any means necessary. So yeah, they know how to switch it on and switch it off. They know when it's time to protect and when it's time to be sociable. So it's how it's how it's how you it's how you raise them. Pump 17, yes we do. I mean, yeah, Malcolm, if you want to say it like that, yeah. You're most definitely right. Um, but like I said, at the end of the day, whether you getting one from him or whether you came to us directly, you wouldn't be dissatisfied. You will be very satisfied with whatever you get. Because at the end of the day, we're only making quality dogs here. Ain't no, as my husband says, ain't no Miss Breeze, ain't no German Shepherd, Doverman, Mixes over here. It's straight pressure, straight full blooded rock wallet here, and that's all you're gonna get. BBK gang. Oh, yeah. Um, Bartley's were okay. So, um, I don't know if I spoke on it the last time I talked to you guys on live. So, um, unfortunately, and don't feel sorry. I mean, it happens if, if. Anybody out there that's ever purchased a home, you know, you know, people are constantly, you know, sending their uh, offers or whatever. And when we actually tried to pursue that house, they had already had offers in. And the realtor that we were working with were trying to, she was basically trying to hold off as much as she could um, before the owner accepted an offer. And, you know, things happen and the owner end up accepting the offer that was already there. But like I said uh, to someone in the comments earlier, you know, that just goes to show that God has a better plan for us. He has something better for us, um, better than what you guys saw. So um, to answer the question, we are still looking. We're still working on that and trust and believe. If not by the end of this year, but by the beginning of next year, we will have our own property to call the home of the BBK game of Big Boss Ken and Rock Wallets. So just stay tuned on that. Y'all keep us in your prayers. And, you know, patience is a virtue. And like I said, God knows everything. He just got something better in store for us. Oh wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that uh duo. I did not know that. I I'll, I'll probably have to check that out. Okay, uh Bart is where I, like I say, I didn't know that. Y'all hey, I tell y'all information and y'all can give me information. If it, if it's you know, if it's true, then hey, I, I have no other choice but to believe you. And I, I mean that sounds about right, because they've been around. For many, many years, many, many years. All right, yeah, yeah, most definitely any dog can be trained for anything. Uh, no, big show, they have not. Oh, yeah, Malcolm, you better know it. And, and I'm gonna tell you, just because Debo, he, he's. He's a monster. He's a monster. But I'm going to tell you, who you have to watch out for <laughs> is Ciroc. Because <laughs> Ciroc is going to let you know <laughs> right off the bat.
Um, I'm gonna tell you. Um, for the most part, they really don't. They um, they like water, like they like to play in the water or whatnot, as y'all probably know. But furthermore, it's like when it actually rains, they don't really like to be in the rain like that. Um, now the snow is something totally different. Like they, when it snowed, um, this year actually, I don't know, I I don't know where you are, um, but in Texas, you know, um. Uh, at the first of the year, we got that bad snowstorm where it was a lot of blackouts and just all sorts of craziness. But when I tell you, we didn't get it on film, and that's something that I wish we would have did, but they had, like, a field day in that doggone snow. I mean, it was like we they didn't want to come in the house. You know, they wanted to play out there in the backyard in the dog on snow like they wanted to play out there in the snow so if i had a season or whatever that they preferred the most i think it would have to be the snow because they were i mean they were so excited <laughs> so uh, i mean they they were super excited about playing in the, in the snow Because if you don't know, uh, Debo and Sirac are, I guess you would consider winter babies. So, you know, they were born in the cold, uh, uh, kind of like myself. Um, I was born in December, two days before Christmas. So, you know, I don't know what it is. They, they like the cold. Okay, okay, cool. I I never been actually in Nashville. I've been through Tennessee, but um I never just you know came to uh Tennessee and just as a as a tourist or nothing like that. Marley, <laughs> that's that's funny. That's funny. That's yeah. When if he bark, if if Debo barks, then you know it's something serious. That's all I can say on that. And his bark is very deep. You know what? If I could put it to you one way, to me, Debo's bark is like hearing. Barry White sing. And if you know who Barry White is, you know his voice is very, very deep. So if I could, you know, say anything, uh, if I could compare to me, Debo has that Barry White voice. <laughs> so I can believe that he shakes the Caribbean. <laughs> I can believe that. Y'all hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hey, come on, y'all, BBK gang. Y'all, y'all give us some support. I got, I don't know how, matter of fact, let me check my phone. How do you say oh. you rock that? Y'all hit this like button. Y'all, come on, give us some support. Y'all, y'all say y'all rock with us. Y'all, y'all hit that like button. Um, can't cross all rustic religion. You know what? Like, that's one thing about it. They, none of them. From Debo all the way down to Diamond. The way we raised them, I can put my, matter of fact, with Debo, 
any of them. But I'm going to say, Debo, I can put my whole hand in his mouth. He's not going to bite me. I don't care what's going on. If he's eating, I can literally take his food, and he's not going to growl. He's not going to bite me. And that's what we instilled in him when he was a baby. So that issue on biting us, oh, no, most definitely not. He knows better. I don't know how to say that, and I'm not going to mess it up, but OG, you know who you are. Give us a call, and we can we can definitely make something happen. On a uh, two tall junior, oh no, she's gonna breed back to a bubble. We're not gonna uh mix breed her. No, she's going back to a bubble. Skinny B, they are doing awesome. I'm I'm probably gonna go pick up uh probably a male and a female, and let y'all just see them at a week old. Um, so you just got to stay tuned. Kane Corso rest, uh, rested, released. I, hey, I don't know. Y'all hit that like button. Hit that like button. <laughs> Swag. Yes. He likes, he likes German Shepherds, but I'm telling you, I think by him coming with his friend, um, shout out to Z. Um, I think he might wing over and, and go on and get him a rock wallet. So you never know, you know. But hey, like I said, I don't knock nobody that that like German Shepherds because at the end of the day, the rock waller and the German Shepherd are the two dogs that I grew up on. And like I told y'all before, my dad absolutely loves German Shepherds, so I can't knock them, and I don't knock anybody that breeds them. I don't knock anybody that breeds any other dog besides Rockwallers. I don't knock you, because if you're on here, then you support us, and we support you. So, you know. Uh, yeah, exactly. I've seen... Uh, uh, the Marcio McGee, I've seen those. They are big. I've seen those, and, and those are the ones with the. They, I think they have like long, like long, long hair, but they're super big. I think those are the ones that you're talking about. But if that's if that's the one you're talking about, I've seen those. Yeah. Oh yeah, most definitely, uh, Malcolm Light. You know, I guess whatever perception people put on the rock as them being super aggressive or super aggressive, you know, that at the end of the day, they can be what you want them to be. But they are they are protectors. So if as long as you treat them right, they're gonna treat you right and they're gonna protect you. So oh yeah, they 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 not you know, scary, they're not, hey, they mean business, trust me. Appreciate that, uh, Kane Corso, appreciate that, and, and you know, because we're not going to lie to you, we're going to show you, we're going to tell you up front, you know, hey, we got the best of the best, and that's just that's just what it is, hands down. Um, Pump 17, uh, uh, well, I'm going to tell you, the main thing is between the bubble and the rock waller, they both demand to be the alpha. So, if any issue, and, we sh and I know we're not, I ain't going to say if, I know we're not going to have an issue, but... Um, especially like if you have a male of, of both sex, you have a male rock wall and you have a male warble, unless they were raised with each other, one of them is going to feel like they're the alpha. And you have to break that because at the end of the day, they might be the alpha of the animal kingdom, but I'm the alpha 
alpha. I'm the alpha alpha. So what I tell you goes. So at the end of the day, they, I mean, that's really the only difference between the two. They just, the bubble tends to want to be the dominant over the, uh, uh, over the other breed. But with in Diamond's case, she's a female. And I'm not saying that she won't try to take that position once she gets of age over Ciroc. Because Ciroc is the alpha female. She, 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 she's the oldest out of all of them. And she lets them know, hey, you cross the line or chill out. You know what I'm saying? But she has actually, Diamond respects Ciroc. And Ciroc respects her. Not only just because she's a puppy, but it's instilled in her right now because she is a puppy. That once she gets of age, she won't cross that line because she knows Ciroc will put her in her place along with the other females because she is the baby out of everybody. So, um, and then, like I always say, we demand obedience with all of our dogs. We don't tolerate them fighting. You know, they, they might get excited or kind of snap at each other. Or uh, you know anything like that, but it's when they snap, it's not to to fight or to injure. It's to let the the dog know whoever it is. Hey, I demand my respect, and if I don't want to be bothered, then I don't want to be bothered. You know, so it's just a respect thing. You know, so I hope that that answers your question for the most part. But the temperament. Um, with, with Diamond is, she's very subtle. Um, again, she's, y'all, she's only four months. So right now she's, she's in baby mode. She's in puppy mode. So she's going to be doing this and doing that. But for the most part, her temperament is just like the rest of them. You know, how Debo and Ciroc acted when they were that age. She pretty much does the same thing. I guess I really won't know the difference um, in her temperament until she gets a little bit older. So, but right now, she just she's she's in puppy mode. She plays, you know, and sometimes they don't want to be bothered, but sometimes they do. And you know, she knows, like I said, she knows when to stop and go do something else. So, but yeah. Um OG, I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that. I might have to look that up. Um, Kane Corso, he he's not here. He's out handling some business. He's not even here. I just decided at the spur of the moment to just to get on here with you guys. So yeah. Okay, so. Malcolm, I guess the best way to answer your question, um, Art Rockwallers, as you can see in one of our videos where we had, uh, it was two of my little cousins here, and then another video where we had um, my niece and my nephew, and actually my niece was riding on Mo 3's back. So, their temperament with kids are fine. You know, of course, they're going to be like a dog for the most part um, until they realize who you are. And they're going to bark. And once they realize who you are, then they chill out and they let you pet them and play with them. Um, you know, so their temperament with kids are, you know, good. I mean, just like with. If, like I said, if you had a dog on Chihuahua, so um, only difference is they're just big to certain kids, especially smaller kids. They're just big, and you know, with any dog, you just gotta let them know, hey, 
once you see that they're being too rough, then when I say stop, then that's what I mean, stop. You know, because kids going to be kids. And furthermore, as when kids agitate dogs, I don't like that because that can put them in, in harm's way. Especially if I'm not, if not, I'm not saying our dogs, but in, in general, if I wasn't around and you're steady agitating and agitating and agitating, dogs remember things. They remember it. And they know that you've been, you've been picking at them, picking them, picking at them. So it's like when they see you at your vulnerable state and you agitate them for the last time, they're going to react. This is like us humans. Somebody is agitating you and you put up with so much and you hold your, your, you hold your tongue or you hold your temper or whatever the case may be. And it's just at that, that moment at any given time, you just snap. And that it's not to it's not to hurt the kid, but it's to let them know, hey, stop. I don't I'm not going to I'm not going to hurt you, but just stop, you know. So but um, I don't like that, per se, because as a kid growing up, I, I, I was always taught don't agitate a dog because. When you least expect it, and when you're not agitating that dog, that dog's going to remember what you did, and the consequences could be very bad. So I don't like that per se. And I don't teach our, we don't teach our dogs to be that way. If we feel like they're, if they in a bad mood, we don't know they're in a bad mood because they're a dog. We can't read their mind. They can't tell us that, hey, I don't feel like being bothered right now. But if we feel like they're being too aggressive, then we that when we tell them to stop or no or put them up, then they know that hey, I, I did something I wasn't supposed to do. So, but then at the same time, it also goes back to you tell that kid, don't do that. Because this could happen. It's not saying that it's gonna happen, but it could happen. And to prevent it, just don't do it. Uh, Hugh Quiz, I, I guess that's how you say it. We are doing the raffle, and I'm glad you said something about a raffle. If y'all don't know, at 10K subscribers on YouTube, we will be raffling off the puppy, a puppy. So, the tickets are only $5. You can get as many as you want. So, y'all don't forget about that raffle. I'm telling you, we're getting, we getting close. So, y'all that have not bought a ticket, I'm telling you, give us a call. You must call. You must shoot a text or a, or a call in order to be entered into the raffle. We're only taking cash out purchases for the raffle. If you just send me a cash out purchase for, I don't know, however many, $100 worth of tickets, I'm not going to know who you are because your cash out name is not giving me all your information. I have no way of reaching you if you so happen to win. So you must call or text us before you send your cash out for the raffle tickets for the puppy. So if that answers your question, yes, we are doing a puppy giveaway at 10K subscribers. Tickets are only $5, and I still got a bunch of them. So y'all, don't, don't forget, don't sleep on that raffle. And like I told y'all before, uh, my husband said, we might do two. So you never know. Y'all want a ticket? Give us a call. Right, exactly, uh, Bartley's word. If the, if the child is raised up in that house with that dog, then that dog knows he is to protect or she is to protect that, that family member. But if it's something, uh, you know how you stay in the neighborhood and you, you have uh, kids in the neighborhood, walking through the alleys or walking by your yard or whatever the case may be, and they taunt and taunt and taunt and taunt, and all you hear is the dog barking and, 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 and all that. If that dog ever gets a chance to get out and they remember that 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 kid or whatever, grown up, anybody, I just feel sorry for him. I'm not saying like, and I, I'm speaking in general. I'm not talking about my dogs, but 
Yeah, you just I, I I learned that as a kid. You just don't do that. And again, if that child is raised with that dog and that dog knows he's a part, that child is part of its pack, then it's gonna do its best to protect. Snap on our kid allegedly now his wife wants to get obviously and I understand that but obviously something somebody did something to that dog in 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 the midst of all of that and they, the dog just reacted a natural instinct I mean at the end of the day it's a dog it's an animal and it's gonna react you know but you know it, it's just I just don't do that. I just don't, you know, you got to tell that child not to do it. And then you got to instill in, in your in your dog and your aunt, whatever it is that, hey, you don't do that. If you do that, it's consequences. Vice versa, kids and dogs. It's consequences to everything that you do. Exactly, Miss Cheryl. Like, you just don't do that. I'm going to tell y'all, my aunt, um, I think my aunt was probably about, I don't know, about 10 years old. And um, she was visiting some family members. And um, they stayed in the trailer house. And, you know, in the country, in the trailers, you know, for the most part, the ones that sit on the cinder blocks, it's that opening up under the the trailer. And uh, this dog, you know, it was a family dog. And it knew, it, it didn't know it like, it, it didn't know my aunt like that. But it knew that she wasn't a threat. But I don't know. Like I said a while ago, the dog might have been having a bad day. And I don't know, just something just kind of triggered it. I don't know. But... My aunt was just getting ready to walk in the house, and the dog came from under there and literally I almost killed my aunt right here, grabbed it, grabbed her right here, and bit her. And right now, to this day, my aunt has a scar there and a scar in the shape of a moon on, on the side of her face. And my aunt didn't, wasn't, wasn't taunting the dog, hadn't did anything. So it's just. It happens sometimes. I hate it, you know, but it happens sometimes. And you know, you can't you can't do that because at the end of the day they remember that stuff. Traumatize the don't traumatize them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it yeah, uh Brando is it's a moon shaped uh scar on, on her cheek and then up under her on on her chin she has a scar right there where the dog literally just like how my hand is grabbed her and could have killed her. And, and to this day, if you know, if he had a got the right spot. I wouldn't have my aunt today. So, yeah. No, bro, that's why I haven't seen it. I didn't see that. I mean, you know, rock wallers aren't, like I said, they, people have this perception that don't know the breed. They have this perception that they just, this like, matter of fact, the perception that people used to, to say about the pit bull, you know, how you, if you get a, if you rent a house or you rent an apartment or whatever the case may be, they say in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, description, you can have dogs, but these breeds are not allowed. You can't have pit bulls. You can't have rock wallers. You can't have German shepherds. You can't have this, you can't have that. 
people put this deception in their mind that they're just killers. No, it's how they're raised. If you raise this dog to not to 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 be aggressive when it's a, when it needs to be, then that's what it's going to be. But if you raise this dog to be family oriented, but to protect me, but if I tell you to stop or I tell you, hey, it's okay, then that's what that's what that's what I mean. You know, that's just like with Debo. As y'all saw, if I told him to stop or any of the other dogs, they're going to stop. As y'all saw, Mo3 was running around in that video. You know, I didn't have to have him locked up. They stopped immediately. All the way aggressive like that, then that's how they're going to be. They're going to be mean. They're not going to like nobody. The half time, they probably won't even like you. But they got to respect you because, hey, this human feeds me, so I can't just be all the way mean to him or her. Because if I do that, I'm not going to eat. So it just, it's, just, it's just how you, it's how you raise them. And you can't always put an umbrella over, over these breeds of dogs just because they're big or whatever the case may be. Yeah, and exactly. Uh Roth family, it's the environment. If they see if they have a loving, caring environment, then they're gonna be loving and caring. They're not gonna be if you just got the dog and you just keep it chained up 24-7, you don't interact with it, you just give it food and water and shut the heck up. You know, every time, no, nah, of course they're not going to respect you. Of course, what do you expect them to do? You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not spending any time with them. One thing that I know about Rockwallers, they crave for affection, just like with Borbles. They crave for affection. If you're not affectionate to the dog, then of course, what are you expecting to turn on you? It will do it. It will do it. It can't happen. Trust me. So that's why, for the most part, they they know, they know because we spend time with them. We 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 have one on one time with all of our dogs, and as y'all know, we raised Debo and Sarah from babies since they were two months old. We raised Mo three since he was two months old. We've raised Chanel and Roxy since they came out of Sarah. We've raised Diamond since she was two months old. Only ones that we haven't raised from babies is Chanel, I mean, uh, is uh, 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 Trina, Nikki, and Black Cherry. That's it. And they respect us as if we raised them from babies. So it's just, it's, it's, it's demanding of respect. It's demanding of obedience. And what I say goes, period. Period. <laughs> oh yeah, I had a um uh right after I uh right before I graduated high school. I graduated high school two thousand seven, and um. I had my dad. My dad had got me a American bulldog, and don't get it misconstrued with the English bulldog. It's the American bulldog, and if you know what American bulldogs are, they're similar to. If you look at it and you don't really know, you would think that it was a pit bull, but it's not. It, it resembles a pit bull, but they're not pit bulls. They're American bulldogs and they're 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 taller. Um and I know they probably come in other colors, but the most common color and the one that the color that I had, he was all white. His name was Kane. And I'ma tell you, he was probably about as big as Debo. And 
he was just a big old baby. And, you know, people would see him and they would get so scared. Like, oh, he's going to take me. He's going to bite me. He wasn't like that. Kane was a very sweet dog. And I ended up having to give him away because, you know, uh, somebody, uh, one of my neighbors at the time had called the animal pound and they came and because he had got out the gate and he was running in the alley, he would go from our, our house and he would go right across the alley to this one house and he would come back. He would go around the house and come back. That's all he was doing. Literally. He didn't bite anybody. He didn't bark at anybody. He didn't do none of that. He was just big and he, people saw him and got scared. And so when the animal pound came to the house, me and my dad was outside and literally came was in between the houses of our house and my neighbor's house. And I saw him and I said, come here, come here now. And he looked at me and he, he, he ran, you know, in that happy run mode, he came over there to me and he lay stretched out in, in the front yard and was just laying there. The animal control guy was standing there. And he was like, dang, he's, a, he's very open. And I said, yeah, he's trained. He just liked to get out the gate and run around. And, you know, my dad looked at me. He said, well, baby, what do you want to do? And I said, well, dad, you know, because at the time my dad was, um, he was kind of sick. He was going through some things. And, um, yeah. And I said, well, you know whatever you think is best. And he told me, and I said, well, I don't want to do it. I cried, but I ended up having to go ahead and give him my dog away. And, but that just goes to show you just don't, just because a dog is big, don't mean that they're going to do this and do that. It's how you train a dog. I trained that dog and he knew to protect me. And he knew at that moment, he wasn't, I wasn't in any danger. My dad wasn't in any, any danger. We It was nobody threatening us. So he was just being a dog, you know, and people got intimidated because of his size. You can't always do that when you see these rock wallers. You can't do it because every dog is not the same and they weren't raised how you might think they were. Not all of them. So. Um, and yes, they, yes, they are very sensitive. Prime example, Debo. <laughs> Debo, like I tell you all the time, Debo has been here before. He was, Debo has been here before. He was a human and, and was reincarnated into a dog. I'm telling y'all, like Debo is a human. I'm telling y'all. Yep, exactly. Okay, I will do that. I'll look that up. I'll look that up. But yeah, that exactly. They 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 are the bigger version of the English bulldog, and I absolutely loved Kane. Like I loved that dog. I like I told y'all, I actually cried when I had to give him away, and I just wish that I could have did something to keep him because I did not want to get my dog away. I did not want to get my dog away. And actually, if y'all are familiar with the Little Rascals, Petey was an American Bulldog. That's exactly, I don't know why I didn't think about that. That's exactly what he was. If you ever seen Little Rascals, not the black and white version, <laughs> the 90s version, if you ever seen the Little Rascals, Petey was an American Bulldog. So that's exactly, matter of fact, that's exactly how Kane looked. He looked just like that. He had, it wasn't as, the, the black circle around his eye wasn't as, as dark as Petey's, but he had that faint black uh, circle around his eye. And I swear, he looked just like him. So yeah, if you ever, if you ever seen Little Rascals, Petey was an American Bulldog, and that's how Kane looked. (laughs) 
But yeah, y'all, if y'all want to know anything before I get up off of here, um, let me know. But give me one second, y'all. I have to run to the restroom and I'll be right back. All right, you guys. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Look what I got. Say hey. Say hey, you guys. This is a female. This is one of the male pups right here. Now y'all been see their tails are dot. They done healed. They doing really, really good. So this is a male and a female. Again, this is a female. And this is a male. See, their eyes aren't open yet. Their eyes aren't open yet. And they were asleep, so I, I woke them up. So I'm going to go put them back down for they start whining for their mommy. So give me one second. <laughs> And yes, you guys, like we've been telling y'all, they are sold. They are sold, sold, sold. So yes. Yes, they are they they can get very huge, just like Rock Wallace. Uh Gwen Alford, hello, hello. I don't hear any Jamaican Roddy's people and openness give a type of vibe like you can always see Roddy's walking around large mansions or lane. <laughs> yeah, that's like some Barton's word. That's like some 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 shot of stuff or or some some I don't know some Scarface stuff. Like oh yeah, like people always associate Dobermans, uh, Rockwallers, and Pits and 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 Mastiffs to to those like gangster or whatever. I mean you know. It's good for what they do, and they and trust and believe they're gonna do. Those breeds are gonna do what they want them to do, and those are the ones that you would consider the mean ones because they want, they need them to be mean to protect whatever that they're doing. So yeah, you know what I'm saying. But that's like some stuff you see on on the movies. But I know people do that in real life. So yeah, I absolutely agree. Uh. I think it's you, Quez. Uh, give me a call. Give me a text. You can DM us. Um, again, our Instagram is Big Boss Rock Wallet Kennels, all one word on Instagram. You can DM us. If you have any questions, I'm not going to answer that on here. I don't do that. Um, so if you have any questions about prices, um, availability, and anything like that, please hit us up. Check the description box. All our info is down there. And you can get in contact with us. Yes, they are too cute. And man, I'm telling you, just a week's time, I'm telling y'all, they are getting huge. They are getting huge, huge, huge. And I'm telling you, probably, uh, I say probably about 
probably Friday or maybe about Wednesday, we should start seeing a little crack in their eyes to where they start trying to open them or whatever. So their eyes will be open. You know, once their eyes open, then, of course, you know, they start doing all that walking around and they're going to be whoo, getting into stuff. They already trying to bark at each other and, 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 and they – Oh, it's it just so creepy. It's so cute. I just laugh at them. I laugh at them. Yes, Kane Corso, they are huge. Like, I'm telling you, they are growing very, very fast. Hey, um, if you don't mind me asking, um, when it's her birthday, um, around the time frames, I could probably kind of give you a time frame on um, when we should have something available. Um, but that will be cool. And, and trust me, it is a lot of work. It takes a lot of dedication to do this because it's hard work, you know. It takes a lot of energy to to get up every day to make sure that the yard is clean, to make sure that they have water, to make sure that they eat I, everything. It it's, spend time with them. It's it's a lot of hard work, and as y'all know, I'm tired. It's been only one week um, since they were born. They are a week old. They just uh, to answer your question, J and J uh, Broadnax Kennels. They just turned a week old on Wednesday, so they're officially a week old. Um, yeah, so it's, hey, if your mom stopped doing it, then, hey, I don't know how long she did it, but, yes, it is very hard work. It is very tiresome. And if you don't have the, the help that you need, then on one person, oh, yeah, it could be very overwhelming. So, yeah, most definitely. Hello, Wendy. Thank you, thank you. Shout out to Australia in the building, BBK gang. Let's start Australia. So, some BBK gang love. But yeah, you guys. Um, I said I wasn't gonna stay on here no hour, but it looks like I done already reached the hour. But I'm gonna give I'm gonna give y'all about ten more minutes. I'm gonna give you ten more minutes, y'all, and then I'm gonna get off. Because, like I said, I'm hungry, and I don't want my food to keep getting too, too, too cold. So, but, yeah. But, yeah, like, just just let me know whatever y'all want to want ask. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, you know... Money isn't, you know, it's just, I don't care, like, no, money isn't everything, you know what I'm saying, so, some things you just don't get rid of, some things just has your heart, and I'm going to tell you straight up, none of the dogs that we have in our, in our program right, as of right now, it's, but I'm going to tell you off the bat. Debo, Sarat, Mo3, Black Cherry, Diamond. None of them. All the dogs that we have right now. Debo, Sarat, Diamond, Black Cherry, uh, Nikki, Trina, Chanel, Roxy, Mo3. They're not going nowhere. I don't care how much money you offer. They're not going anywhere. I'm just being honest. Yes, Wendy, yeah, exactly. They they become, they, because me and my husband, we don't have any children just of yet. So our dogs are our babies because think about it. You're responsible for them just like you would a human child. You got to make sure they eat. You got to make sure they have water. You got to make sure they're clean. You got to play with them. You got to spend time with them. You got to make sure they exercise. 
everything. You got to discipline them. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So, you know, yeah. And Debo and Ciroc are our first babies. So, yeah, those are our first children. <laughs> those are our first kids. And and if you think about it, uh, Roxy and Chanel are our first grandkids, if you want to put it like that, because those are their their babies so you know we love them just like they were humans you know we don't we don't treat them any different so yeah exactly oh yeah you know some people will but i just you know i it, it would it would it would hurt me, you know, even if we did come to a point in time, you know, if we had a, a dog that um, we decided to go ahead and sell, it would still hurt me. Like, I'm going to tell you, the first litter that we had, um, Chanel and Roxy's litter, the ones that we sold, I cried the first one. <laughs> I cried the first one that actually went home um, because it was just like, it was not just because I was sad because they were leaving, but it was just the attachment. You know, you know, it's it's just like when you have a newborn child, especially for that first month, that first couple weeks, you don't get no sleep. You 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 constantly getting up because they don't sleep through the night. They always hungry. They always crying. You know, that's just like with the with the babies. With the dogs, you know, we were attached to them. And, you know, for the first three weeks, we didn't get no sleep. I didn't see my bed at all. All I saw was the couch. <laughs> so, you know, oh, yeah, most definitely. But I'm going to tell you, though, this this litter right here has been a lot easier. Um, You know, for the most part. They sleep during the night. They don't whine as much. Um, they might, you know, have a fit with each other, but I don't have no issues. I mean, like I said, I'm tired because I don't. I, I'm still not in the bed yet, y'all. But um, I, I can, I can sleep. I'm not sleeping hard, but I can sleep to the point where I don't have to worry. Like, dang. Is she going to roll over on one of them or anything like that? Because, first of all, how we have the, the weapon box, she she can't roll over on them, you know. But it's still in the back of your mind, like, they still little. They can't walk it. They don't have their eyes open. And, you know, they really don't know direction. They can only smell so I mean it's still a concern, but it's not as hard as as the first time. So yeah. Oh yeah, most definitely real breathing. Ain't no just no one two time thing. This this is this is our life. This is what we do. Yes, they are the foundation. Yeah. Um, we're still, um, you must have just tapped in. I, I'm not going to screw up your name. Um, but, <laughs> um, again, we're just, you know, putting it in God's hands. Something, uh, God has something better in store for us. And we're just being patient and waiting, um, until that perfect property comes along. So we still are looking. So, yes, we still are looking. Oh yeah, most definitely. You paying that much, you know, for any dog. I don't care if it's one of ours or any other dog. You paying that much for it and you treat it like crap, then you don't deserve no dog. But most definitely, like we can you can tell that vibe when you talk to someone and you sell that dog 
and how they're going to treat that dog as it as it grows. You know, you can you can just feel that. So yes, most definitely, most definitely. You know what? Her quest, um, he quest. I, I, I think I can. The first time, um, you know, when they, when they, matter of fact, when they're this small, I just showed y'all. When they're that small, then it's it's that attachment. Like, hey, what are you doing? Where's my baby going? Like, what are you doing? Type stuff. But once they get that age, when it's time for them to go home, it's like, oh, okay, bye. You know, like that. It, it they know something's missing, but that attachment, like it is right now, not not so much because for one, um, by the time they get ready to go home, they should be already weaned. So it's like. That bond bond is, it, I mean, it's going to always be a bond because this is mother to child, but it's like, okay, you, you got teeth now. You can, you can feed for yourself for the most part. I've done my job as the, as the, as the parent. So it's like, okay, you know, go ahead and grow up. <laughs> so, but, um. I don't think I don't think I don't think Sirac is gonna have that issue this go round. So we'll just have to see. Oh man, JJ Broadneck Skin, I'm praying for you. I am praying for you because just imagine we got the puppies plus Diamond. She's four months plus Diamond. So, I mean, you know, Don, I'm going to tell you all, Diamond, she's just curious. She's She knows it's something, but of course she can't see. She's not allowed to go where they are, but she can she can smell it and she can sense it. But anytime, like if she's in the house and she we have her um in her in her cage in the house because she's obviously done something that she knew she wasn't supposed to do. <laughs> um, but if we pick one of the puppies up and she's right there, it, it she kind of whines a little like. Hey, what's that? What is that? I want to play with it. You know, type stuff, but she's not allowed to go by them. So, but it, it, it just, I just find it funny. But um, as long as you've, I guess, you got to, you got to wean them in slowly. And it's easy because it's only six months. Uh, he's only six months old. So it, it it could be easy because it's still a puppy, you know. But most definitely, it, you're gonna have your hands full. If it, it it's not as much as we got going on here, because we got puppies, but like infant puppies on top of. A big puppy, so <laughs> it's not as bad, but yeah. Sunshine, I see you in the building, BBK gang. Oh yeah, Mervin. The first week, like I said, with this litter, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Um, but the first go round, oh man, oh man. I couldn't, that first go around, I couldn't be sitting here doing this with y'all because I would be literally nodding away and just wouldn't have the energy. Um, Tamara, you know, I, I can't put a, 
a time frame on this. It's just this is this is what we love to do. My husband loves this. He's been doing it for forever. For forever, forever. When I mean forever, I mean forever. Um and you know, I've grown to 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 love it and I support him. And as long I, I guess the best way to answer it, as long as he wants to do it, then I'm gonna continue to support him and continue to be right there along on his side. So I guess that's the best way to answer it. I'm okay, like her question, you can, you can, but at the same time, you don't want, you don't want to limit yourself. And it's just like the, the quote says, don't judge a book by its cover because a person could be, can bring up, put off this perception that they're this way, but in reality, they could be a totally different way. So, I mean, by all means, do what you want. You know, if that's what you want to do, by all means, do it. But I feel like however much you're charging for your puppies, somebody got to be out their mind to pay however much it is and just neglect the dog. Like, I, I that's like the stupidest thing in the world to me. So I don't, I, I just don't see that, you know, but again, by all means, if that's what you want to do, then hey, that's what you do. But we're not finna, again, like I said, when you talk to someone, you can feel that vibe, you know, you can tell when somebody's BS and, and just, you know, not gonna own up to it. And nine times out of 10, if they don't have the money to pay for it, then you already know what you know, it's not, it's not meant, meant to be. So, um, and, and, and I'm glad you said that because actually we had called a breeder. I don't know his name, so I can't speak his name, but, um, we had called this one guy a minute ago. Um, we were trying to, we were interested in, uh, a pit bull terrier. And this guy was like, oh, if you don't, if you got, if you got other dogs or whatever, then I'm not going to say you my dog. I'm not going to do this because so many people want to get the dog to fight them. And woo, woo, woo. that's the deception that people have put over this breed. But at the end of the day, if I'm willing to pay what you're asking for this dog, and just because I have other dogs, what does that have to do with you? You know, I'm calling to buy it. What does that have to do with you if I have dogs? You think I'm going to spend this much money on a dog to let the dogs that I already have fight and jeopardize this dog? No. Come on now. Like, he wanted to know. I mean, literally, this guy wanted to know what we did for a living, you know, how old we were, like, I don't know, like it was just crazy. And I told I told my husband, I was like, you know what? To heck with that. Like, heck no, nah. like, no. Nah. <laughs> we ain't gonna even go there. No. <laughs> you know what? You sound just like me <laughs> because that's exactly what Diamond does. If I go use the restroom, she's right there. If I lay on the couch and I don't feel like, and I, I don't feel like being bothered, she's right there. It's just you know, it's I understand what you're saying, but I love her to death. I feel like she still thinks that she's that little bitty puppy that she was when we first got her, and I have to tell her. Oh, girl, you are not that little bitty puppy no more. You are heavy and no, you are not the little bitty puppy no more. Get down. If you're going to get up here and lay down, get up here and lay down with me. But in my face, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. 
Yep. It's a, it's you got to think about it sometimes. Think about it that way. Woo wee. Uh, Tamara, one dog is not that bad because if uh if you buy if you buy a forty pound bag and you just have one dog, that forty pound bag should last. Depending on how much how much you feed your dog, I would say maybe almost a month, if not a month. So it just depends. Now, versus us, feeding wise, with them with a forty pound bag, oh, that forty pound bag would probably lasts about two three days. So, yeah. Exactly, Kane Corso. Like, <laughs> you're not going to spend that much dog on money just to get the dog to fight him. Like, come on, man. No. And you know that's you know that's I understand that what you mean by that because that's the same thing people used to say when we would walk Debo at I don't know uh, I think Debo was like six months I believe and we were uh, walking around the park and people were like. Golly, he's huge. Like, look at his head. And dang, he big. How old is he? Like a year? And we be like, no, nah, he's just six months. And like, six months? That's it? And like, yeah, like, yeah, so I totally understand. And that, you know, that's the same way with um, Mo3. You know, Mo3 is just a year old. Mo3 looks like he's way older. You know, even before he turned a year old. Like, people would be like, golly, how old is he? Like, he that old? Like, yeah, he's just a year old. Or he's just 10 months. So, I believe you. No, nah, I mean, like I say, it just depends on that dog. You know, whatever kind of whatever kind of dog you have. Um, Like I say, a 40-pound bag. You know, that's pretty big. If you got one dog, then 40 pounds, depending on, like I say, depending on how much you feed them through the day, then 40 pounds for one dog should last almost a month. Not, you know, I'm not saying it will last a month, but at least almost a month. Yeah, Mo three is just a year. He just turned a year old. Matter of fact, the puppies were born on Mo three's birthday. So yeah, <laughs> he's just a year. He's just a year old. He's huge, and you know they don't stop growing till they're like two and a half. So yeah. Um, I think. Tamara, I think you mean can I can we do a video where Hulk visits Debo? Um, and, and you know we 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 trying to set that up for y'all. I mean, we we trying to set it up, so you just gotta stay tuned. <laughs> Dennis, I don't know who Dennis is. I think you mean Hulk and Debo. Hope is Debo's dad. So if that's what you're meaning, then um, like I say, uh we just, you know, we just gotta stay tuned for that. You mean uh bigger out of Mo3 and Hulk? Is that what you're meaning? Uh request. That will be the 
you know, we put D- Mo3 and Debo up to anybody. We don't care who it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, we put we put Mo3 and Debo up to anybody. And, you know, we know how Mo3 is growing, so we put him up to anybody, too. And as y'all can see, shit, he's, he's just as big as Debo, so. And I said I was going to stay on her 10 more minutes. Y'all don't let me stay on her 12 more minutes. So, um, I hate to get out for here, you guys. I said I wasn't going to stay on her no hour. But um, I hate to leave y'all. But, hey, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn your post notification bell on. Like this video. Drop a comment if you like, if you like. Share this video. Y'all already know. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend. And hey, BBK gang, I love y'all. Thank y'all for all the uh, love and support that you've given us. Thank you for all the positive content, uh, comments, all the positive feedback that you guys have given us. And hey, thank y'all for stopping by, giving a little bit of your time on this Saturday night. And y'all just stay tuned because we're going to always keep bringing that heat. Stay tuned for the lives because you never know when we're going to decide just to go live. So make sure that post notification bell is turned on to all. You don't miss anything. Um, I see two more questions that came in. Uh, oh, yeah. Make sure y'all can go back all the way back and, and see all the videos. Sorry, uh, all the videos, you know. Just go, just go see when when you can uh, you can go all the way back to where Debo and Sirac were four months old. So, hey, make sure y'all go check those out. Thank you for rocking with me tonight. I love you guys, and I see you guys next time. Gay gang.